Welcome back to Everyday Kentucky. Sunday, September 18th, a community-wide event allowing children to touch and explore many types of vehicles from a variety of professions is taking place at Kroger Field. That's pretty cool. Ashley Moore from Child Development Center of the Bluegrass is here with the details on Touch a Truck 2022. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you all for having me. Uh, are we talking like all kinds of trucks? Is there a, a, like a rhyme here or something? So many vehicles. We've got 44 different vehicles. 44. 44. So we've got police and fire, race cars. Um, we've got Kroger coming out, and they're actually going to bring the refrigerated trucks and have gift card giveaways. We've got race, uh, the race car. We've got the helicopter coming, um, and then all kinds of construction vehicles. Uh, so just a great time to get in and get to explore, honk the horns, blare the sirens, do things you normally would never get a chance to do. Right. Yeah. So tell us a little, bit, a little bit about the importance and significance of this event and why you all are doing it. Absolutely. So the Child Development Center of the Bluegrass has been around for over 60 years yes, um, actually right across from Kroger Field which is where we'll be having the mm -hmm. event in the blue lot so that's really neat to be able to actually see it from the event um, and we serve children from all across the the bluegrass central Kentucky region about 30 percent of the children um, are receiving some type of therapy service in-house which is nice so we partner with UK pediatric therapies to provide that and uh, all the proceeds from the event go to support the Child Development Center so great cause and a great day you know we have been uh, blessed to be involved with the Child Development Center from the very start 41 years ago when we started doing Children's Charity Classic. And, uh, you know, people don't realize, you know, when you talk about development, it, it, it's not only necessarily mental, it's physical, it's neurological, it's getting used to being with people in crowds and touching things like all these different vehicles. So people may say why, but it, actually for what you do, it's a great fit. Absolutely, yeah, and I'm glad you mentioned that, David. That first hour is actually a quiet hour, so we um, designate that. We have stop signs, so there's no horns or sirens or anything for anybody that might want to come um, that just doesn't need all that noise and lights and things, maybe has some sensory um, disorders sure. to be able to come and enjoy that. And so that's always nice to have that first hour um, for people to come. And if they need to get out after that, that's great. And if they want to stay the rest of the time, then it's uh, all the horns and sirens going the rest of the day. All right. Speaking of developing like your sensories, um, tell us a little bit about the organization and the services that y'all provide. Yeah, absolutely. So we've got the child development services, of course, um, there, you know, daily, about 180 different um, children coming in and families. And then we've also got a partnership with UK Pediatric Therapy. So they're able, the children that are there, and then another few hundred a week actually coming in um, for speech therapy, for occupational therapy, um, physical therapy. So just all those services that they're able to come and get um, in-house, which is a really nice nice thing for families. And, and as we look at the details, I hope I'm not getting this wrong, but I believe there, there are kids without any issues that, that attend there as well mm -hmm. so that the kids who do have the issues, they just feel kind of normal. You got it right, yeah. You've done your homework, Dave. Yeah, yes. we've actually... No, 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 I, I, <laughs> actually, one of the very first yes. grads uh -huh. is, is a buddy of mine. Oh, and he, that's and he, works, yeah. he works as a sportscaster, uh, yeah. a newspaper guy, actually, down in Tampa, Florida. And it just did amazing things for him. And it's, it's just such a good thing to make those kids feel like Yep. I'm just one of these guys. You're exactly. That, that's something that we really try to feature is that integrated service. So we've mm -hmm. actually got the therapy area right in the middle of the building so that the other that's children right. are seeing it and they want to be part of that. Mm -hmm. So it's actually really neat to be able to, to do that. So you're exactly right. We want to be able to, and that's something, I've actually done interviews with some of the alumni and something that they say that's as valuable as anything oh, is that absolutely. their children develop that empathy, even if right. they don't have those needs um, for other children that might be different. And so it's really neat to get to see them all interact. All right. Well, thank you so much, thank Ashley. I know the event will be a success. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> it's the 18th, right? That's right. Yes, the 18th. I get back the 18th. I've got yes. to go to St. Louis. Yeah, I'd like yeah. to come do that. Yeah, come on out. Thank Th you all. Thanks so much for having me.